Good morning, everyone, and happy 4th of July. It's time for our daily devotion on this day of our nation's um, independence. And we are also in the book of Acts. We're in chapter 11 today. We're going to finish chapter 11. So we're starting um, this morning at verse 19. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, speaking the word to no one except Jews. But there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists, also preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The report of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he was glad, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast purpose. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great many people were added to the Lord. So Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a great many people. And in Antioch the disciples were first called Christians. Now, in these days, prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch, and one of them, named Agabus, stood up and foretold by the, whole, by the Spirit that there would be a great famine over all the world. This took place in the days of Claudius. So the disciples determined everyone, according to his ability, to send relief to the brothers living in Judea, and they did so, saying it to the elders by the hand of Barnabas and Saul. Okay. So, um, this finishes out the rest of Acts chapter 11. And, um, you know, as we had talked about Saturday, th this is still a transitional time when the disciples are still learning that Jesus can be proclaimed to non-Jews. The Hellenists here are the Greeks um, or, you know, the Gentiles. And so... Um, you know, Jesus is being preached to the Gentiles. The Gentiles are converting. We had that lesson in the last chapter of Acts chapter 10 of the cloth being let down and um, full of unclean animals so that Peter could see that um, everyone uh, could receive the good news of Jesus. And, and so these chapters here in 10 and 11 of the book of Acts are, are here to let um, to let us know the kind of time of transition that was happening in the church, that it was very difficult, I think, for those early Jewish disciples and early Jewish Christians to see that Jesus, as the promised Jewish Messiah, would also be the Savior of the Gentiles. And um, it, it's taking them some time to get that, but they're getting it now, and uh, we're going to continue to you know, move beyond this as Paul is going to be taking over as you know, an ambassador or a, a, an evangelist to the Gentiles. So um, all that is happening. Um, Antioch is up in uh, Asia Minor. Uh, or no, wait, maybe it's Syria. Let me get back to you on that. But anyway, um, Jesus is being proclaimed there. The Christian, they're, they're called Christians for the first time there um, as uh, followers, believers in Christ. There, there is still some prophetic activity going on on an individual basis uh, as a famine occurs, and then this allows the church to, to serve um, Christians living in other parts so that, you know, we as Christians can see that we need to take care of each other and look out for each other and, um, you know, be in service of ministry to each other. Uh, and in this way, you know, we fulfill our calling um, as believers in Christ uh, showing acts of mercy just as Jesus showed us when he died on the cross and extended to us undeserved grace. All right, let's continue now as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. All right, uh, so announcements for today um, with all of our ministry 
personnel back. Um, events are going to be resuming this week. So uh, women's Bible study, I believe, is happening uh, tomorrow. Uh, I don't have the time for that right in front of me this second, but you can look at the email newsletter and it will tell you that information. Youth night will be happening again this coming Wednesday night. This coming Saturday, we do have men's breakfast and elders happening at their respective times of 8 a.m. and uh, um, 9.30. And then don't forget, this coming Sunday is pot blessing. So please bring a dish to share, followed by our council meeting. And then a week from tomorrow, on Tuesday the 12th, is Season Saints. So that's all the announcements I have for today. Thank you for watching again. Uh, a very happy 4th of July to you, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again this coming Sunday uh, to worship the Lord. God bless the rest of your day.